This is a tutorial on inverse matrices. Now this concept is very useful when working with matrix equations. But before we actually get into the equations, let's find out how to find the inverse of a matrix. So let's look at example one. So here we have a matrix and we want to find its inverse. Now let's consider a formula that could help us find the inverse. So say we just had a general matrix with A, B, C, and D as the values for its various elements. Now if we wanted to find the inverse of that particular matrix, we would need to do this operation here. So the 1 over AD minus CB is pretty much telling us 1 over the determinant of the given matrix. Now we want to take that value and multiply it by this second matrix here. Now if you notice, it's just a manipulation of our original matrix. Our A and D elements are going to switch places, and then our B and C elements are just going to take opposite signs of, from what they currently have. So let's take this formula and apply it to our matrix from example 1. So we'll put in the values for A, B, C, and D. So we'll have negative 2, negative 1, 6 and 2. Now at this point, the first thing we want to do is find the determinant for our matrix. And it's very important to check that first because if the determinant for this matrix is 0, then this particular matrix actually would not have an inverse. And the reasoning behind that is this part right here. The determinant is what's on the bottom, and if that's 0, we would have 1 over 0 being multiplied to this matrix. Well, 1 over 0 is an undefined number. Now because of that, there would be no inverse for any matrix that has a determinant of 0. So let's find the determinant for our matrix. So we'll first take the negative 2 and multiply it by a positive 2. And then we'll subtract the product between 6 and negative 1. Now when we simplify this, we get negative 2 times 2, which is a negative 4, and then minus a 6 times a negative 1, which gives us a value of negative 6. Now from here, when we further simplify this expression, we have negative 4 minus a negative 6. Well, minus a negative, it's just like adding a positive. So we have negative 4 plus 6 giving us a value of 2 for our determinant. So now that we know what the determinant is, we could plug it back in to our equation right here, where it goes. So let's do that. Now from this point, we need to make this new matrix right here. So we need to switch our A and D values. So our negative 2 and positive 2 are going to switch spots to look like this. So now our positive 2 is in the top left corner, and our negative 2 is in the bottom right corner. Now as for our B and C elements for our matrix, you notice that we need to take the opposite of each of them. So our negative 1 will now be a positive 1, and our positive 6 will be a negative 6. So now from here, all we need to do is take this scalar of 1 half and multiply it to every element in this matrix and then we'll get the inverse matrix as our result. So let's do that. So first of all we have 1 half times 2 which gives us a value of 1 and then 1 half times 1 gives us a value of 1 half and then 1 half times a negative 6 gives us negative 3 and then 1 half times a negative 2 gives us a value of negative 1. So for us, this matrix right here would be the inverse of the original matrix we started with. Now a quick way that we could check our answer is to use a calculator. Now if you're using a TI-83 plus or 84 plus calculator, you can actually go to the matrix function in that calculator. Now to get there you could push second and then this x to the negative 1 button. That'll take you to some matrix options. 
Now when you're there, you'll see a list of different matrices labeled A, B, C, D, and all the way through J. Now what you want to do is go over to the Edit tab and put in the elements or values within your matrix into one of these letters. So say for example we chose matrix A, we would go over to the Edit tab, push Enter on A, and then put in the corresponding values to each of our elements for the matrix. Now once we've done that and exited, we could go back into the matrix options and under the tab names, we would push enter on the letter that we put our matrix in. So since we put it into matrix A, we'd go over to A and hit enter, and then we'd see it on our screen. Now if we want to get the inverse of that matrix, we just need to push the inverse button, which is this X to the negative one button. Now, alternatively, you could just take your matrix A and then use the caret symbol to raise it to the negative one power. In either case, the screen of your calculator should have something that looks similar to this, matrix A to the negative one. Now at this point, once you push enter, you should get a result that would show you the inverse of that particular matrix. Now when you do that, your answer will look somewhat similar to this, which is exactly what we got when we calculated for the inverse of the matrix by hand. Now just so you know, this doesn't only work for 2x2 two two matrices. You could also use this method to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix or 4x4 four four matrix or so forth. Now if you do need to find the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix, or a matrix that's bigger than that, it is recommended to use this calculator method to find it. Calculating the inverse of a matrix that's that big is very involved and very meticulous, and it takes way too much time to do.